how many items Tesco and Coop sold? Tesco, 132 items. Coop, 114 items. Do you want Excel to do it the same for you? I mean, to understand your natural language and analyze the data accordingly for you? Very easy. Stay with me for a few minutes and you will see and learn how to do it very quickly. We have some data up here. So let's quickly move on to the data. In this data, we have um, multiple customers, for example, Little, um, Penny, Tesco, James Store. They have multiple products they've been selling. Um, you can see Coke, fresh flowers, frozen food, oatmeal, sugar, water, etc. There's some revenue and, and cost, etc. as well, and the dates when it was delivered and units sold. So this is a lot of data. And when you have a lot of data, sometimes when you're asked to make an analysis, it gets a little bit shaky, confusing for you as well. So for this, we have um, on your home tab up there, this is a home tab in the home tab you have ideas some of you might not have ideas they have probably analyzed so you can click on the analyze it will give you the same thing actually through ideas when we have a data table excel will do the same it will analyze the data for us so let's have a quick look click on the ideas uh, while we have the table selected there are multiple ideas down here excel is thinking analyzing your data and then multiple tables are here maybe one of them tables or charts will suit you um, if not just click here you can see this area this arrow click here and simply and frankly write down a question for example how many flowers um, Tesco um, sold we will see the total number of line items and there you go it has given us a count of flower so how many flowers it didn't count why because there are no flowers there are fresh flowers so you can see question how many flowers tesco sold answer is and excel has crossed the flowers because there is no flowers if i write for example here fresh flowers and there you go now excel has taken my fresh flowers and calculated it from the products and how many fresh flowers Tesco have sold. Now let's change the question. How many, uh, let's say, um, frozen food were sold in January? Now there's another question. And in January, only one was sold. So Excel is taking my question and you can verify a question from this part, whether your question is right or not. So this is language, natural language processing. Excel is running for you. Now, another question, let's say, um, how many, um, let's say, how much, how much sugar uh, was sold by um, Coop? Let's say, question, there we go. So, sugar, was not a correct one. Why? Because if I have a look at the data, I don't find sugar at all. Because there's a mistake. And it is not exactly as it is in the table. I will change it now. And there we go. The sugar product has been picked up. Simple as that. So spellings also may uh, vary. So you need to be careful about the exact match in the, in the data that you have. Um, we can take another example, nuts. How many nuts were sold, let's say not by Coop, let's say little. So it shows you how many nuts by, were sold by little. Now, if I have this analysis with me, now I want to put it or insert it, just simply click here on insert and you will get a table here number of rows where product is nuts and customer name is little simple as that i mean beautiful seconds and you get your data analyzed i think it cannot be better than this um, of course it can be but this is a good situation while you have to figure out yourself that you have to bring in the fields and then analyze them etc etc it's much more simple convenient and easy situation guys click here try this 
practice this enjoy this and if you have any questions or comment please don't forget to put them in the comments area down there till then stay safe take care of yourself and have a nice day bye bye